I'm Dr. Naveen Kella. I'm a urologist in San Antonio, Texas. I've been practicing urology since 2004. I completed a fellowship in robotics and urologic oncology. I'm the founder of the Urology Place, where we offer treatment for men and women with urological issues and have uh, been running the practice since uh, 2015. When we learned about i I was very impressed with its, uh, its results and also its, uh, its side effect profile. Uh, if we're going to look at a new technology, we'll, we want to make sure that it's effective. Uh, the treatment is very effective. Uh, it can help patients uh, have a, over a 60% improvement in their urinary symptoms. Uh, also, I was impressed with the fact that it's something that can be done uh, under sedation in the hospital or something that we could even do in the office. BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia. It's an enlargement of the prostate. It occurs in most men, 60% of men in their 60s, 80% of men in their 80s will have BPH. And what happens is the prostate enlarges and the urinary tube, the urethra, runs through the prostate. Imagine the prostate is like a donut and the donut hole is where the urethra is. And so as that urethra starts to get narrower, it becomes more difficult for patients to urinate. BPH can have a varying levels of impact on patients' lives. Some patients can't get any sleep. They wake up three, four times, they can't get back to bed, and it disrupts the, their quality of life during the day. They're in a fog, they can't concentrate. We have some patients who have symptoms of BPH and they try to make efforts to stop drinking fluids. We have patients who will push, they'll literally push on their bladder to get their urinary flow to go. Uh, these are some of the ways that patients are compensating, but not in a good way. Traditionally, the treatment pathway was surgery. Then medications became available. Medications are great for patients who can tolerate the pills. They can help with symptoms. In between, though, there's been something lacking. Technology like iTend has been really uh, creating a paradigm shift in the treatment of BPH. We used to just keep patients as long as possible on medications until surgery was the answer. ITIN is another option, minimally invasive. ITIN is unique uh, among the treatments that we have for BPH. One of the things that makes it unique is it doesn't require a catheter. The ITIN doesn't leave anything in the prostate after it's done. It's removed uh, in the office about a week later. The ITIN uh, also does not create any sexual side effects or ejaculatory dysfunction, which makes it, uh, uh, that's a very attractive feature about the iTIND. And the uh, iTIND is something that can be performed in the office or in the hospital. These are very soft, but it's something that will uh, gradually create channels in the prostate. And the patient can have pressure. They'll, they'll sense pressure as something that Usually for the first 24, 48 hours, I tell our patients to be on the lookout for that that's expected. Once it's time to remove the device, uh, it can be uncomfortable and we'll give medication to the patient to uh, alleviate any discomfort. After the device is out, patients, most patients have improved urination almost immediately, uh, which is great. The uh, side effects of urgency, frequency, could persist for a little while after the device is removed. Uh, but those go away. Patients who have BPH uh, need to know that it's not uh, one treatment fits all. The urologists, uh, you know, most of us have different options that we can offer our patients, tailor our treatments to uh, individual patients. Uh, it's important to find someone who has uh, interest in knowing what's new. I mean, the newer technologies, a lot of them uh, have way less side effects some, than some of the treatments that we used to offer. Uh, you want to make sure your urologist has not only that interest, but has some experience with these treatments as well. That's what I would be looking for.